how to find local Twitter users in your area. Now, I, I never understood why people were obsessed with getting the most followers from around the globe. Now, sure, it's great for your ego, but if you're a local business, it doesn't really help you. Now, I'm going to show you how to find people within just a few kilometers from any spot you choose. Now, your geolocation is added to all your tweets. Now, Twitter does this automatically. And you've probably seen this here in your settings page, right? Tweet location. No, no, most people don't even turn this on, right? And let me show you here what Twitter's got to say about it, right? Tweet from your location. If you do, you'll see a little city here. But look at this. Important security note. It is important to note that deleting location information in your settings does not guarantee the information will be removed from all copies of the data on third-party applications or in external search results. <laughs> we can exploit this. And how do you do that? Is with this code here. Geocode, right? Column, latitude, longitude, and a kilometer radius. Out, you know, basically out from that point. And what you'll do is you take this, jump over to your Twitter search bar. All right, bang. Oh, by the way, this was a, a spot in Brookline, Massachusetts, basically four kilometers out. And hey, what do you know? <laughs> uh, the top tweets in Brookline, Mass, uh, just today was Steven Tyler <laughs> from Aerosmith. He made a cake. Uh, but if you want to see all the people, click all here, and you'll see that you're now getting tweets literally 50 seconds ago, one minute ago, one minute, one minute. This is literally everybody within a four-kilometer spot in Brookline, Mass. See? And it goes through everybody. Now, how do you find your geolocation? Well, let me show you. Uh, one way is to jump over to Google Maps. And, uh, pick your spot. Do a right click, bang, right? The link button, you'll see this come up. Let me jump down here. And right here, see? S A D S A D D R. There's the two numbers you want right there. Another way of doing it is go to itouchmap.com. You'll see this here. Just drag your point over. Oops, like this. Just drop it where you want. And I was looking for Brookline, so there it is. See? And once you have your spot, see, there it is. There are your two numbers. All right, another thing you can do is you can search with a hash mark. Yeah, Brookline. And there you go. All the top ones. I mean, there's not a lot. There's not a lot of people who actually use Brookline, you know, as a hash mark. Uh, but the same deal, you can go for, for everybody. <clears throat> I typically don't use uh, the hash marks because I'm truly, really trying to find everybody with a certain spot. You can always narrow it down later. All right, so now that you have your list of users that all have tweeted from Brookline, uh, the assumption is most of them live in Brookline. Um, well, you can just start following away. See, manually. Now... But wouldn't it be nice if you had a piece of software that could do this for you? All right, here's my little app called Find Local Twitter. Uh, it's Windows only, no Macintosh. It's created with UBot, so it requires Internet Explorer to be installed on your computer. Uh, there's three parts to it. There's search, and you'll be checking the user data here and saving it. And then you'll be following the people. Let's go back to search. <clears throat> All right, you'll enter your latitude, longitude, Kilometers for hashtags for this one. I'm not using any page loads. Typically, I might do about a hundred, uh, and I'll show you what the page loads look like. And the delay, if you have a slow connection, you can slow it down 10, 15. And once I've grabbed all these users, I want to save the file someplace. Work line for kilometers. Uh, oh yeah. Also, I don't have to be logged into um, Twitter. So I'm going to go, the program goes straight uh, to the home page and does the search. See? Now, you'll see the page loads, and typically you would do this yourself by scrolling down to the bottom of the page. See this? So you would do this. But the program is doing this automatically for you. Now, depending how many people live in the area that you're searching, uh, 
this influences how many people obviously you're going to scrape as or collect um, once you've gone through this. Typically about 100 page loads, you, know, you get 2,000 tweets out of it. Uh, you, know, you might get about 500 people or so. And these are all going to be unique people. It won't just copy the same people over and over again because obviously a lot of people might tweet multiple times. All right, let's uh, let it do its thing and uh, we'll check back. All right, so the program just finished. If you notice that it went back 11 hours worth the tweets and went through all these people here and grabbed their names and saved it to this file here. Let's take a look. Uh, let me see line numbers. And basically, I got 526 people who tweeted in the last 11 hours. Now, obviously, you'll be doing this again the next day, uh, and there are no duplicates here. So that's 526 people who, you know, there's a good chance they live in uh, Brookline. Uh, some of these people might have been passing through. So the next step is we, can just, we could just take this list right here and just start following these people automatically. But let's do this. Let's check the list that we have. So this program is going to go out and grab a whole bunch of information on all the people we have on our list, and that way we can pick and choose who we want to follow. We'll grab our original list, and what it's going to do, it's going to save it as a, a CSV file, comma separated value file, something that we can open in Excel. Uh, Brookline, four kilometers. Yeah. All right. And all we have to do is just run it. Again, we're not logged into Twitter. This is just basically straight off their homepage. What happens is it loads each one. It's about a three second delay or so between each one. And what it's doing is it's grabbing their name, their bio information here, their town. See, a lot of people will list their town and a URL or website associated to them. Right? Let's let this run for a while. And I'll show you what's up. All right, once it's done its thing, you open the file up, and it'll look like this in Excel. Basically, you've got the first column, which is the URL their, you know, with their username. This is the amount of followers they have. This is their town that they listed. Their name, uh, website URL, and their bio. All right, your first option is just to grab this list here based on the amount of followers they have. Or you can sort it by town, and the people who say they live in Boston obviously live in Boston. There you go. Uh, and Brookline is just a little portion of it, so only a few people actually said Brookline. And it goes out to Cambridge. And some people just don't list their you know, the town. Okay, let's jump over to the follow section. Now, make sure you're logged into your Twitter account. Now, be aware of the numbers regarding the following. Now, most that you can follow is 1,819. Now, to get more, you, you're going to need 1,819 followers, and then it's 10% of that number, which that means for every 10 people that you follow after you've reached 1,819, you can then follow 11. All right, now you, you want to load a text file. Now, either we can go back to our first list that we grabbed, about 500, and just start following those guys, or you can create a list um, from our CSV file, a more you know specific list, maybe by you know specifically town um, or followers that they have. All right, so let's do this. Let's just take my original Brookline list. Okay, so then you're going to want to set the speed. Now I have an older computer dedicated to running this app, so I like the slow setting. Now all the settings have a random amount of time between following. Now, the slow is between 60 seconds and 120 seconds for about 40 followers an hour. Medium um, does basically about 75 per hour, and fast is around 160. Now, you definitely want to keep the total followers under 200 per hour, or your account might get suspended. It means you're just trying to go too fast. Now, I suggest you don't use the fast setting unless you only want to run it for an hour and stop, but you've been warned. All right, let's try it. Now, just for this purpose, demo purposes, I'm going to do the fast setting just to show you what, what's going on. All right, hit the run button. 
It's going to load the page. See if there's a follow button on there. Because if it's all, you've already been followed, it won't unfollow you. Okay, bang. And goes to the next one on the list. All right, and basically it'll just keep doing this 526 times. Now, if you noticed, I put the last user that it followed here. So this way, if you want to stop the program, just remember the spot and delete the users from your list um, that you've done up to that point. All right, so check out my website, localusers.net. Uh, I'll be doing updates to this application. Uh, I'll probably work on an unfollow feature at some point. All right, so there you go.